Welcome to The Advocates, your Sunday reminder that important conversations are among the necessary tools for a saner society. I will be talking about good debt. Elijah Felix will be talking about the girl child, our time is now, our rights, our future. Victor Onyekwere will be talking about focus areas for the next Nigeria CEO. Tolu Moyon will be focusing on migration and its effects on the Nigerian economy. We'll be right back after the break. The debate on good debt and bad debt is a long-standing one. On one side are those who strongly believe that all debt is bad. On the other side are those who believe that there is necessary debt, and so if it is necessary, then it must be good. Those who believe that all debt is bad do so mainly because in the scripture, in Proverbs 22, 7, says that the borrower is slave to the lender. And they quote this believing that it was written as a warning against borrowing. However, I think that while it's a caution to borrowers, if you read the whole chapter and look at its context, it is also a warning to lenders not to take advantage of the poor in our society. I believe not all debt is bad, and I would like to highlight some strategic ways to utilize debt. When we say the use of debt can be strategic, you would immediately think maybe for business, but no. Even for personal use, sometimes debt is necessary. Not everything we do can be done with our own personal funds or at the pace at which we earn a salary. Strategic uses for personal debt. Education. The more education you have, the greater your earning potential. Education also has a positive correlation with the ability to find employment. Educated people are more likely to find well-paying jobs and tend to have an easier time finding new jobs should the need arise. So an investment in education can often pay for itself within a few years of entering the workforce. However, not all degrees are of equal value. So consider both the short and long-term prospects for any field of study that appeals to you. Your own business. Money that you borrow to invest in your own business can also come under the heading of good debt. Being your own boss is often both financially and psychologically rewarding. It can also be very hard work, and running your own business comes with risk. Many ventures fail, but your chances for success are greater if you choose a field that you have some skill in and have already done the groundwork. Your home or other real estate. There are a variety of ways to make money in real estate. On the residential front, the simplest involves taking out a mortgage to buy a home living in the home for a few decades, and then reselling the home at a profit. Residential real estate or commercial real estate can be a source of cash flow, an eventual capital gain if you know what you're doing. Before you take a loan, however, there is something called a debt to income ratio. This simply means the percentage of your monthly income that goes to making your monthly debt repayments. Creditors use your DTI ratio to calculate how much they can lend to you. In Nigeria, labor law pegs the DTI ratio of salary earners at not more than 33.3% of your income. So whatever lending you do, you cannot exceed that ratio unless you go to unregulated lenders and loan sharks. Strategic uses of business loans. For fast-growing businesses, it is near impossible to grow without using other people's money, either equity or debt. Many fast-growing companies would prefer to use debt to support their growth rather than equity because it is a cheaper form of financing and you don't have to part with any of your equity. 
there must be sufficient operating cash flow generated by the business to service the debt's interest and principal repayment obligations, or there would be severe consequences for the business. Some reasons why companies might elect to use debt rather than equity financing include Debt can be a less expensive source of growth capital if the company is growing at a high rate. Leveraging the business using debt is a way to consistently build equity value for shareholders as the debt repayment is paid. Debt can be somewhat less complicated to arrange than equity financing and may not require shareholder approval. Once the debt is repaid, it's gone. Equity, however, remains outstanding unless repurchased by the company, which typically requires the shareholder's consent. Debt can be used to finance a wide variety of business activities, like working capital, capital expenditure, to acquire inventory, and also to finance equipment purchases. Debt is, um, is neutral. It depends on what you do with it that makes mm -hmm. it good or, or bad. bad. Good or bad. Mm -hmm. So it's advisable to use debt and drive it into production. Mm -hmm. Now, when I mean production, I don't necessarily mean actually creating physical, tangible goods. Just like you said, other things like education is somehow mm -hmm. production, but you're yeah. producing a refined you. Exactly. Um, your personal comfort, if we guarantee something bigger out of For instance, now you are living somewhere and you need to pay your house rent. You know you are working somewhere. Just like you said, your salary frequency is not in um, congruence or it's not, it's not synchronized with the time you need to pay that uh, rent. Yes. You can yeah. take that, provided that you can pay, and then you your comfort, pay, yes. your comfort right. staying at your house without being disturbed by whoever, the landlord or whoever, mm -hmm. would later generate into a peaceful mind that will make you more, more productive. True. So you see, whichever things you do, True let the debt be driven towards production, either Rather directly than. or indirectly, tangible or intangible. So that's my thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. Yeah, and you know, just to add a bit when, when I look at debt, I look at it from two perspectives. You know, asset and liabilities, right? So debt can be an asset or can be, an, can be a liability. If you have, for instance, a fantastic business idea, you know, where you need money to finance it, and you've done your financials and it makes sense, your projections make sense, then when you take debt to do that, you know, you get returns. And because you've also calculated what the debt, you know, what the interest the is on the debt, be, yeah. and it makes sense, so you do that. Unfortunately, what happens is when, when they take debt, they go and buy a car. True. You know, and the problem with the car is, <laughs> the moment you drive it out, right. the moment you kick, you start that car and you drive it out of the, you know, after that place, it, it starts to depreciate the value. Yeah. You know, so we must always think of debt in terms of, you know, investing it in in, ass, in assets versus liabilities. I'm going to Nigerian situation of uh, debt. Let's not even start. Let's not even get into that. Debt. I think I pretty much agree with everyone. I mean, basically, to you know, Elijah said, because at the end of the day, you want to think about what's this. Oftentimes, I think we should even start having um, a mindset of engineering for people who take money because we use money, like I said, narrow escape to just solve problems. Sure. I and mean, we're not thinking about how do we, what's the return on that? How do we get back it? How do we recuperate, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think taking money as itself is something that should be good. In fact, people should be made to take loans, really, if we understand is how it works. Credit. But people don't understand how it works, and sure. we get so careless, and, you know, see some of these loan sharks, they'll mm -hmm. call you, um, Mr. XYZ is an arm robber, <laughs> is a hire killer, you know, how much did you take? 15k. 12,000. <laughs> Why not I go and do you understand? So is it 15k that you used to start a hire killer? Do you get so well? I get it. And I think most of these loan sharks can just start that re-education and mindset programming of you. I think all that. Uh, in addition to yeah. open yeah. to because yes. you, just like you are cutting the lot at 3 percent analysis, mm -hmm. I think these things are unregulated. Anything can happen in fact. But I just wonder how our folks, all these folks um, in advanced world like US, UK, somebody wants to buy an iPhone or an Apple gadget or something, is it techie, he wants to work or is, is he into business? He will just scroll into the uh, shop there and just get use his credit card and just purchase this thing and then pay it back. Have you had those kind of system here in Nigeria? You know why the credit, the credit system, the credit system works very well there because they can track people. 
So we can't track with all our BVN and NIS. You see someone take a loan from here and run his credit the down and, and then relocate to Sokoto. Who is going to look what for What of the BVN and NIN? So I think we've all come to the conclusion that debts can be both good and bad. If you use it the right way, it will be good. If you use it the wrong way, it's bad debt. After the break, Elijah Felix will be talking about the girl child, our time is now, our rights, our future.